This video can help you get important information you need about your criminal arrest in Tewksbury for possession of cocaine. Now, we may not be talking merely about uh, some cocaine that's in some tinfoil or in a baggie. We could be talking about cocaine that's uh, just a small amount that's in a straw or on a, a piece of currency like a $10 bill that's not even uh, in your pocket, that could be uh, on your car seat. That, in addition to being possession of cocaine, would also be possession of narcotics paraphernalia used to ingest that cocaine. This is not a matter that's going to be handled in the local municipal court. It's going to be handled in the county seat where you were arrested and prosecuted by the county prosecutor because even for a small quantity of cocaine, for your own personal use, you're facing a five-year jail term, state prison term, for a third-degree crime. It's important that an experienced attorney like me evaluate the circumstances regarding the search and seizure of this cocaine, make sure that the lab has properly tested it and can demonstrate a chain of custody of that cocaine. Make certain that you actually possess the cocaine because there are various types of possession in the law. Actual possession, which would be obvious to you, but other types of possession that we could talk about, such as constructive possession and joint possession, where you aren't necessarily, in fact, you're certainly not physically holding that cocaine or physically having it in a pocket, shirt pocket or jacket pocket. For example, I told you I have actual possession of this pen, cocaine. That's easy to demonstrate, but now having put the pen on this legal pad, it's still within my dominion and control. I can reach over and get it, even though I'm not holding it. The state can argue I still have possession of it, constructive possession. Similarly, if one or more people were in a car or a room when you were arrested, you may both be charged with jointly possessing that cocaine, even though neither of you have actual possession of it. All of this will depend upon the unique and particular facts of your case. So it's important that you hire an attorney that can identify the issues that could be used in your defense. I'm Richard R. Uslan. For over 30 years, providing statewide services for people charged with crimes, DWI, and all municipal court offenses. For more information, visit my website indicated on this video or speak to another experienced, reputable, and dedicated attorney.